I saw this cute Farrah Fawcett fringe bangs look on TikTok and I just had to do it. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Why is it giving Billy Ray Cyrus? Keep on watching. Stay with me because the cut is the most important part. I am not going to be doing a ball cap method on this install. I'm using a dark brown wig cap. This is a little bit darker than my skin tone, but they don't really make wig caps my exact skin tone. So I'm using one one shade darker. Putting that on, not gluing anything down, okay? Simple. This wig is from Unice Hair. It's a 13 by 4 frontal, and I will put all of the information in the description box per usual. Thank you to Unice for sponsoring this video. I went ahead and bleached and plucked my wig off camera. This unit came with baby hairs already on it. I went ahead and cut those out because my hairline is not low in the middle, and it's always low on these wigs. So I went ahead and just pulled that out. Totally fine to do. Just don't pluck out like a bunch of hairs at the same time, or you will rip a hole in your lace. Three slits to the lace. This just makes it so much easier when you're gluing your wigs down so you can have a more even application, especially for my low hairline girlies. I'm using the Bowl Hold Liquid Gold for my wig application. I love this because it does not last that long and I don't plan on having my wig on that long, but the glue application is still the same. Bowl Hold Liquid Gold dries really fast, so by the time I get everything on there, I'm already ready to lay the wig down. So I pull down each section and I just press it directly into that bowl hole liquid gold. I'm not maneuvering it too much because that will cause it to turn white and to flake up on you. Since we're not doing a ball cap method, I just went ahead and pulled the lace in front of the wig cap to make sure that it wasn't showing everywhere that it was plucked at. That part needs to be in front of it so the wig cap is not showing through the thin areas of the hairline. Elastic band on and we're gonna let that melt down while we go ahead and get into this cut Okay, this is the most important part when it comes to this hairstyle I actually was inspired by a look that I found on TikTok. I'll go ahead and pop it on the screen But this is the most important part of this whole hairstyle You're gonna want to cut in a diagonal on both sides So we're starting on the right side here and you're cutting down on a diagonal I start low because you can never get hair back okay if you cut it off you can never put it back so start low don't go up too high so you don't make mistakes and i just go ahead and cut on a diagonal all the way down the front of the hairline very very simple and you do this on both sides where you start at does not matter i like to start around my nose area and then work my way up if i want higher up layers the lower the layers the lower you start the more higher you want your layers up the higher you start here, I'm just sectioning out where I would like my bangs to be, twisting it in the middle, and then cutting a little bit up above my nose, like in the middle of my nose, because again, I don't want to cut it too short. Here, I was like contemplating, did I cut it too short? I was kind of scared. That's when the moment I realized I was giving Billy Ray Cyrus, like, I had to get it together. But they weren't too, um, they weren't too short. In fact, it was actually the perfect length. So. Once I went ahead and got my bang length in, I went back in cutting in a diagonal again, right underneath of where those bangs were sitting at because we want even layers. You don't wanna just have bangs and then boom, you have your hair in layers. It doesn't make sense. So I want to have a nice smooth front facing layers all the way down from the bangs and that was the look I was going for. So here you're gonna see me checking my layers making sure that they're sitting correctly by combing the hair back with my fingers i can see where the hair is falling at that way easier and then i just pull out the pieces that are not falling in with the rest of the hair so you can see like when you comb the hair back if it's sitting on your shoulder then it's obviously not layered right it's just too long so i went ahead and cut that up in the spaces that i felt like i needed to and you can just cut on a diagonal and whatever pieces that you feel like are not sitting well i leave my lace band on there the entire time that i'm styling my hair or cutting or whatever i'm doing and then i cut my lace off i find that to be the best way bow hole dries really fast i said that earlier so i don't have to leave stuff on there that long which is another thing that i love about it it just makes my process a lot faster so once I got that off, I've been using the Even Melting Spray. I actually like this. I've been using this in place of the spritz. I love my spritz, but I like this as well. So I've been using this. And then I put my elastic band back on and I let that dry. Okay, elastic band is my best friend and it's gonna be your best friend too when you're doing your wig and sauce. So while I'm letting that dry, we're gonna go ahead and style the hair. 
I'm sectioning out my bang area on what I need to get prepped and ready for the styling, curling, flat iron and hot comb, whatever I need to do. But it was kind of too long still. I wanted the size longer, but the middle shorter. And so um, I just went ahead and customized that to my liking. It's totally up to you. You don't want Chinese bangs. It's not like the Nicki Minaj era. You want fringe bangs. So they should be pretty thin, but also layered. So you start in the middle and layer it down on the sides, just like you did for the front of your hair. So you have face framing layers all over, even in your bangs. That's just how I did it. I'm not a pro. I mean, I didn't learn this in school. They didn't teach me this, but you know, just putting common sense together, that's how I did it. So to curl your hair all over in a quicker way, you can put your hair in a ponytail and then curl it in sections. I saw this on TikTok and I'm just like, where have I been? Like, why was I not doing this before? Why haven't I seen this before? But I went ahead and curled my entire head in this ponytail and then came back and touched up. And I'll come back and speak on it once we get to that part. Just watch how I do this. this was the end result of curling in the ponytail so i know it's a mess stay with me i don't like to comb my curls out either because you want to wait till they cool off before you comb them out or your curls won't stay so i just looked at where i wanted my curls to be pretty much the rest of my head was curled except for the front so i just went in and touched up the front i curled everything under in every area that i needed it to be i also did go ahead and touch up the ends in the front and i curled all those away from my face i just wanted to create a base and then i'm gonna go back and actually curl framing my face but this was the end result of that all i had to do was go back in the front touch up everything else was completely curled like that took half the time do you know how long it takes to curl an entire head and then move on and then install another wig because i do like two wigs a day yeah save so much time here you can beautifully like see the layers. They are sitting right where they're supposed to. And that's literally my favorite part of cutting layers into hair. It's just so cute. I could never do it any other way. Now, here we are again, where I said I was going to go back and curl framing, framing my face. So I curled all the pieces in the front away from my face. So we could have that nice volume right around the bangs. And it was like, coming out perfect i was actually surprised at how well this turned out okay like it's giving it's giving sebastian shaper is my favorite hairspray to use it's so lightweight it's not going to make your hair crusty crispy none of that it's still going to stay lightweight by holding the hair at the same time which i love the hairline was giving. I did go in with my makeup and my foundation shade and apply that all over the lace with a dense real techniques brush. This is not the same foundation that I use for my makeup. So it is like a little bit visible as well as you can see the band line on my forehead of where it was at. That was a little unfortunate. I do think that the lace um could have blended a little bit better it's transparently so it didn't blend as well as i wanted it to but it's still like pretty decent it wasn't bad this is the end result of the hair i'm just sectioning out the hair um i want some of the bangs in the front and i want some of it to fall into the actual hairstyle we don't want boneless bangs but we definitely do not want full-blown thick bangs that's not the way to go but the hairstyle came out super cute. You can also hot comb it to the side, which I was trying to show you without changing the whole hairstyle up and give yourself a whole different look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and I'll see y'all in my next video.